Hello, everybody. I am Sergio Gonzalez Herrero from the Antarctic Group of the Spanish Meteorological Agency, and I am going to talk about the net contributions in the year of polar prediction and the future directions that we are planning on Antarctic operational meteorology and research. I am going to start by a brief introduction of the current activities of IMET in Antarctica. The Antarctic Group of IMET is devoted mainly to gather weather observations and deliver weather predictions. We work in the surroundings of the uh, Western South Shetland Islands on the northern tip of the Antarctic Peninsula, and we are in charge of automatic weather station installation and maintenance. IMET operates five weather stations there. The two main stations are Juan Carlos I in Livingston Island, where we also get uh, radiation in summer, and Gabriel de Castilla in Deception Island. Both of them deliver synops. We also have three research stations, one over the Hoar Glacier, used mainly for glaciology, another one in the Antarctic Specially Protected Area of Bios Peninsula, and finally a new one we installed last year, uh, very near of Juan Carlos I at Moon Sofia, which is more exposed to the winds and better for uh, weather forecast. On the other hand, IMED delivered a forecast for a number of users for safety and logistics purposes. Our users are the managers of the different Spanish stations and vessels. Um, the scientists that have to go to the field, and especially the scientists and technicians at bios, pen, at bios camps, which are most exposed to the extreme weather because they don't have any place where to shelter. There is a brief uh, briefing daily to discuss with the managers of the station and the scientists how the weather will affect the planet activities. Finally, in IMET, we do also some research on atmospheric processes that affect our stations to transfer all this knowledge to our forecast. We also de deliver scientific and meteorological support to the Spanish projects, and we perform uh, some outreach through our blog or through our Twitter account on Antarctic meteorology and climatology. Okay, I am going to explain now uh, which contributions have done IMET during the year of polar prediction? IMET participated in the year of polar prediction as a national contributor in the Antarctic Peninsula region. The main task has been to ensure the delivery of the synops during the, SO, uh, during the year of polar prediction SOP from our research stations. But coinciding with the year of, of polar prediction SOP, we had the opportunity to collaborate with the research project Microair Polar to create and install an automatic weather station suitable to be carried on board a zero emissions polar vehicle called Winslet. The station had to be able to endure not only the extreme temperatures of the Antarctic Plateau, but the vibrations and shocks of the vehicle crossing the asteroids. These extra observations allowed us to examine the mesoscale gradients of uh, temperature over the plateau. From the point of view of the forecasting, we adapted our high-resolution ensemble system gamma reps to the Antarctic Peninsula. Gamma reps is a multi-boundary uh, multi conditions and multi-model limited area EPS with 2.5 kilometer resolution. Uh, here in the right panel, you can see a comparison of the visibility forecasted by the ECNWF EPS model where we were using previously for probabilistic forecast to the gamma reps that we are using right now. Notice the highest detail in notice the highest detail uh, of the gamma reps uh, due to the better orographic representation. Indeed, after a verification that we performed uh, after the SOP, we found that uh, gamma reps improve CMWF in most parameters. It doesn't do it in all of them, for example, in pressure, but it does in those variables uh, with highest impact on Antarctic logistics, such as uh, wind and visibility. Okay, for the winter 
TOP that is currently running in Antarctica, we also have made available the operational and the red forecast to the job community to be examined uh, in the forecast. You can get the access through this uh, URL. <clears throat> we are also recording the events when a TOP on the Antarctic Peninsula is declared. Uh, here you can see an example of the TOP3, which produced large amounts of precipitation uh, with very low visibility and very high winds. And here is an example of an EP, uh, a meteogram or EPS gram on Bernatsky Station. We are also now planning to do another verification of the performance of our EPS in winter after the TOP campaign. Okay, and what are the future plans of IMET in Antarctica? The first one is to try to include more members in the Gamma Rep system, including new boundary conditions that we couldn't include previously, and maybe running the model all year round. Also, as we said, uh, to perform a verification, uh, we are also planning to perform a verification of the winter TOP to compare its performance with the uh, summer season. The second one is related with observations, and this to take advantage of our experience installing a double fence automatic reference or DEFAR for solid precipitation at the Pyrenees, uh, you can see here a photo of our DFAR in Formigal, to install a new one in our station at Livingston Island. Indeed, we have already done the first steps. For example, we already delimited uh, where the fundings of the DFAR legs are going to be located, and we expect to install it in the next few campaigns. And until here are the contributors, uh, contributions uh, we have made to the year of polar prediction on the past few years. Thank you very much. Okay, so in fact, uh, we have time to, to take some questions for the previous talks. And I think there is one from the chat now. There was one on the previous talk, uh, which was a small question with a small lowercase q, so it's small. Um, have you con contributed your advection back to the CI's repository, was the question. So, it's, so if your revised advection scheme is back in the repository, so others can use it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, can you repeat the question so I... I... If your revised application scheme has to be back in the repository, so that Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I think the code, so we, we put the code in GitHub, so, so you can download, yeah. So I can provide a link. Okay, so 